It's a, a decent piece of equipment, I must admit. It's the first time I've actually um, really looked second at a uh, secondary at a, an X6. It's a fantastic piece of equipment, but uh, and I can't wait to drive it. Unfortunately, I can't drive it today. Well, I've been um, driving BMW now for ooh, a number of years, and I'm, I'm going back to the old 3 Series, way, way back, I'm talking about 20 years ago. Um, but it's uh, it's one of them where it seemed to be the deal that was on the table when managing Hull City, and now I've become manager of Preston North End. I was, you know, I was over the moon the fact that Bokers at um, in Preston were deciding to to sponsor the manager in in well in, in terms of a BMW. It's absolutely fantastic for me because I love driving BMW. You know, you've got to get around to games, you've got to get around to see players, you've got to go in uh, various different guises as a manager, you're all over the country to tell you the truth, but um, I don't mind driving around, as long as I've got that hands free, Buy it. Oh. I will do, as long <laughs> as I've got that hands free and I can do a bit of work in the car, that's the main thing, you know, uh, it's so important when you're driving to be safe, obviously first and foremost, and uh, I do an awful lot, if I've got a two, three hour journey to go and watch a game of football, I do an awful lot of work in it. Well, Rick Holden, when he signed for Halifax Town, he came from uh, Carnegie College. Uh, he was a student at the end of the day, and he, and he came in a something like a Fiat Cinquecento or something like that. It was too small for him, but he had about five or six of his mates in it at the same time. It was just not the thing, not the done deal. But again, you know, I'm not talking about La La Land. I'm talking about the real world here. You know, down in the lower divisions where you know you're probably. My biggest thing would have been just over 300 quid, you know, then with the, back in the real days, back in the good old days. But uh, to afford the cars that these guys are driving nowadays, it's just, uh, it's it's unreal world. You know, they can afford to put a 100 grand car on the road without any fear of crashing, without any fear of, of um, getting your license revoked or you name it. But, uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm envious of the players, they deserve everything they get, you know, there's some beautiful cars on the road, but I do like BMWs.